Hey there, before we get started, I just want to let you know, you're awesome. And anyone who thinks otherwise can go politely fire truck themselves. Alright, now, who doesn't enjoy free VR games? That's right, nobody. Or is it somebody? Never mind, that's, that's too confusing. Regardless, VR games are plagued with a negative stereotype that free means bad and that the game didn't have any work put into it. When, in reality, some of the greatest VR games of all time are free. Just look at Rec Room and Gorilla Tag. Welcome in, you nerds. I'm your friendly neighborhood, Z-Storm, and today we're going to take a look at 10 more free App Lab games that I think deserve some time in the spotlight. None of the games on this list will have been included on any of my previous lists, so make sure to go check out those videos if you want to see some more games apart from these. I'll throw a link to that playlist up here in the top right corner, or in the description down below right next to that subscribe button that looks oddly clickable. Alright, now with that all out of the way, let's bolt into these sweet quest games. Coming up first is MK1 Driven. Now, this is first up on the list not because it's actually in 10th place, but because this game deserves so much attention. I downloaded this free racing game which I found at the bottom of the App Lab list thinking it would be pretty janky, but man was I pleasantly surprised. Now, the best way I can describe this game would be a standalone Gran Turismo VR game. Unlike Lit, which was a game I showed off in my last quest video, which was a lot more like an open world Need for Speed Underground game. Now, this is the free version, which only has four vehicles to unlock, but each vehicle has three different levels of upgrades to make the vehicles faster. I grabbed the Fiat 500 car and went to the first desert track and the feeling of the first person view felt really well done. The game ran extremely smooth and honestly probably one of the smoothest games I've played and definitely the smoothest quest racing game I've played. Racing against the AI gave me a fun challenge and I really had to learn how to handle my car and make the turns perfectly to be able to win. You get reward money for making it in the top three places with first place giving you the most amount of money. You then have more options to up the difficulty by changing the vehicle to a manual transmission, which alone adds $100 to the final prize pool. Then you can also change the AI difficulty from Rookie to Pro, which doubles the total prize pool money. There are four tracks to race on in the demo, with a counterclockwise variation of each one. The handling of each and every car felt like a great mix between arcade and sim racing, which I personally like. I didn't feel like I was playing some quick slap together rock hard slip and slide car game. It felt like I was actually playing a Gran Turismo in VR. Now there is a paid version of this game for $8 as well if you want to support the developer and it includes some more cars and tracks to race on. The game is only single player at the moment, but the developer has stated that they are working on creating multiplayer. Up next on our list at the number 9 spot is Magitech. Magitech is a magic adventure game that uses physics driven spells based on the 4 elements, though you can only use fire and air at the moment. Right now the early access demo has a sandbox game mode where you can play around with different weapons and items that show off how well the physics work in the game. There is also a unique gesture based magic system that requires skill to be able to cast your spells properly. I'm not sure if any of you have played Rumble yet, but it felt like Rumble with spells in VR. The environment is interactive in the way that grass will ignite with fire, you can melt ice with fire, and iron will heat up and spread heat around it. I played around in here for a while to get the feel for the fire and air spells, and played with some of the weapons and everything felt really impressive in my hands. I could grip anywhere I wanted to on the hook I had spawned out, and I was able to move my body up objects like Bone Lab with a physics based locomotion system. One thing I found really cool was that when I threw my sword at the little dummy in the room, it stuck into it and I could hit the dummy around and the sword moved around with it. Although it is just a demo, this game appears to have a lot of promise, and for the price of free you can't beat hopping in and honing up on your magic skills. Riding the wave into the 8th place slot is the wonderful game Sail. Sail is an open world pirate game that feels a lot like a VR Sea of Thieves. My first impressions hopping into the game, you start in your little pirate cove, you have a raft to hop onto that you can lower the sail and raise the boulder anchor. You then set out of the cave and start approaching the first island which was pretty stunning actually. The visual quality of this giant island really gets you into the mindset of feeling like a pirate. You can venture to this island and others, destroy things to get some treasure, fight off the random pirates that fight you, use gold to buy new weapons, items, and even a pirate ship if you owned the full version of the game. You can also fight other pirate ships while out on the sea with the cannon on the front of your ship. Now, I couldn't particularly find any because I'm not a good pirate, but there is buried treasure hidden around the map that you can dig up and open if you have the right key to the chest. I know those of you who know this game fully know that there is a lot more to it, but sadly 
I didn't have enough time to figure out everything I could do in this massive world. This game does also have multiplayer in development right now, which is very exciting because then it will feel like a proper Sea of Thieves VR game. 7th place is blasting onto the board with Fire Zone. Fire Zone is a large scale multiplayer shooter with 16 player lobbies, vehicles, and 6 different weapons to choose from. Hopping in for my first time definitely felt a little bit weird as the movement mechanics felt much different than other shooters. But once I got used to the jumping and sliding mechanics the game had, it was feeling great. The guns did feel very arcadey, but this game doesn't claim to be any type of simulation game, so that was completely fine in my book. One cool thing you can do in this game though that sets it apart from some others is drive jeeps around with your friends, fly helicopters, and drive some old classic BMW-like convertibles around the map. Now, I played on two of the maps in the game for a couple hours, but I didn't level up enough to be able to make a custom loadout unfortunately, so I'm not sure how in-depth the gun customization is. But you can apparently unlock other gun camos. There was a team deathmatch and capture the flag game modes to play, and because it's a free game, there was always people online so I was able to find matches quickly. While I'm not saying Fire Zone is the best free VR shooter on App Lab, it's still fun to play with friends and of course, free. Now rolling onto the 6th spot is something diverting from the typical games you see on this list, and that game is Zuma. Now, I'm not sure of anyone else, but growing up I played a lot of puzzle games, and two of my favorites were Zuma and Luxor, and they were almost exactly like this game. I mean, to the point that I thought these were the same developers that made those games. Now the goal of this game is you have to try and line up three or more of the same color on this snake of colored balls before it reaches the end of the map. You get different power-ups along the way, and if you plan ahead, you can make the snake fall back and combo for even more bonus points. Now the thing that really put this game on the list was the fact that it just felt so fluid, and they put the game in such a beautiful environment. There's something about these classic puzzle games like this that can keep me in a trance for hours just relaxing and playing away. And best of all, this one is free for several of the levels. If you decide you want more levels and want to support the developer, you can also buy the full version, but that's completely up to you. If you're new to VR and you wear glasses, you quickly come to find out that it absolutely sucks. And that's where VR Wave aims to fix those problems for users. VR Wave makes prescription lenses for your VR headset that can quickly attach and detach to allow for ease of cleaning and to be able to share the headset with others. So when you're trying to put grandma into the Quest 2, no problem, they got you. You can get your lenses custom made to you and it's as simple as sliding over to vr-wave.store, choosing your VR headset and filling in your prescription in the provided boxes. VR Wave is running a holiday sale from right now until December 31st so make sure to go ahead and grab those lenses soon. Thanks again VR Wave for sponsoring today's video, now let's get back into it. Flinging its way into the 5th place slot is Monkey See Monkey Doo Doo, or Monkey Doo for short. Now at first glance, most are just gonna think that this is a Gorilla Tag clone, but it is far different from that. When you first hop into Monkey Doo, you're gonna be dropped into the social hub. You can look at your left hand and stay in the public social lobby, or create your own private lobby with whatever 4 digit code you decide. When you gather up enough people in the social hub, you can all jump in the casual or competitive blimp depending on the game mode that you wanna play. The main casual game mode in this game is a collection game mode where the first person to collect 10 bananas that are scattered around the area wins. You start out on a platform where you grip and slide down the vine into a floating island rainforest. You move around and put your hand into a banana to pick it up. You can also hit and steal bananas from your opponents by throwing poop at them. Yes, that's right, you grab monkey poop from your behind and throw it at your friends. To move around, you can actually grip almost anything and fling yourself about. You can even grip onto the vines and swing around. And if you find lily pads laying in the swamp, you can jump down onto them and they'll bounce you back up into the air. By collecting 10 bananas and finishing the match, you get to keep the bananas that you have on you and put them into your collection to be able to buy new cosmetics for your monkey. You can then go to the customization station and change your monkey to suit your own unique style. Now I will say before people get upset at this, this game is coming to App Lab but it's just not there yet. But no worries because if you just join up in the Monkey Do Discord, which the link is in the description below, you can talk to the community, apply to become a tester for free, you don't need a computer at all, and you can play this game with a bunch of others and the developers. Monkey Do just has such a unique cell shaded art style and feeling to it that it just sets it apart from the other clones out there and I'm really excited to see how far this game goes. 
Smashing up next into the spot of number four is something I didn't think I would have found while looking around for games. This is Kaiju Monster VR, a game that feels a lot like the old school Rampage games, but in the world of VR. You become a giant monster in a city where your main goal is to destroy all the buildings and military that gets thrown at you. By destroying buildings, you charge up your laser powers for each hand, which can be used to help take out tanks and helicopters, or when you need to take down the power lines, you can blow them up too. But while doing this, you're going to be constantly bombarded by the military, and the more you get shot, the higher your heat levels are going to rise. To balance out these heat levels, you have to smash water towers or shoot them with your arm lasers. There is a paid version of the game that costs $10 that includes 5 different themed cities and some other monster abilities. This free version of the game only includes one level, and it isn't very long, but it's free and it's definitely something I've never seen in VR before. Rolling its way back onto one of my lists is another pool game, and this time one that is completely free for the full version. This is Spark 8 Ball Pool. There was a really fun pool game that was on one of my last lists that decided to go pay to play only and left a lot of people sad, and so I looked around and found this great alternative that feels just as good. Spark Ball Pool is a social VR billiards game where you can play pool with your friends in real time or play by yourself against an AI or in the practice mode. You can walk around freely on the outside of the table with smooth locomotion and the rooms have a really cool design to them that makes you feel at home when playing. In the main social bar area, there also appears to be a wheel that you can spin to win coins in only what I can assume you use to bet or play in the tournament style game modes that they have. The pool balls have some great physics just as the others that I have played and there isn't really much to complain about or say except this is a pool game to play if you're looking for a fun free multiplayer pool experience. Become the hero or villain of your dreams with the second place spot, Project Demigod. Project Demigod is a physics-based, superpower, combat-heavy superhero VR game. You can fight, fly, swing, shoot, and smash your way through those physics-based ragdoll enemies. You have a choice between several different superpowers, and you can even swap between them on the fly. I was swinging around like Spider-Man, then I switched to some fire superpower where I could have fire jets and throw fireballs at the enemies. There is even destructible objects and buildings in the game, so feel free to smash your enemies through walls, floors, and a ton of other breakable items. Project Demigod is currently in early access and has a paid version with even more content that you can buy if you feel like supporting the developer. Though the amount of content that's even just in the demo is amazing and I see nothing but great potential for this game. Great job level up hero and I'm excited to see where this goes. Now, the moment you've all been waiting for. Walking up to the court with the first place trophy in hand is Blacktop Hoops. Blacktop Hoops is a streetball inspired multiplayer VR basketball game. Take NBA Jam and Street and smash them together, slap a VR headset on top, and sprinkle some extra spicy magic over the top, and this is the game that you get. It feels like it came straight out of the 90s with its aesthetics, music, and the announcers that are in the game, which is super refreshing. You have tons of different cosmetics that you can unlock all for free just by playing the game, leveling up, and completing achievements. It sure has been a long time since I've been able to just unlock cosmetics by being good at a game, and it feels great to be able to kick it back to the PS2 era feelings. This game has an overload of options for you to adjust to be able to cater to whatever playstyle you find suits you best. Not to mention these developers are insanely interactive with the community, hosting events, and always updating it based on everything that the player base suggests. I'm not one normally for sports games, but Blacktop Hoops is just so much different and you honestly just need to hop in and see the game for yourself. So what did you think about this round of free App Lab games for the Quest 2? And what games did I not include in my last Quest Games video or this one that you feel deserve some more recognition? Let me know in the comments down below. With the holidays right around the corner and everyone getting a Quest 2, feel free to share this with your friends and let them know what games they should be getting for their Quest 2. If you did enjoy this video, Video, please feel free to like it up as it helps a bunch for others to be able to see this video as well. Thanks again and as always remember, never give up. Peace on out.